so the Ramones, the Ramones played with uh, Soundgarden, right? And like, I wanted to go. So I signed up for the show and I took an extra. I, th I just put my work shirt above like one of my other concert shirts and like, they assign you, hey, you go over there, you know, just make sure nobody goes out through that back door or check tickets or whatever, you know, boom, over there. All right, cool. And then everybody kind of just starts doing their thing. <laughs> yeah. Woo. I took out my, my company shirt, you know, tied it around my belt, whatever. And I just walked down to the pit, you know, right in front of the stage. And, like, the Ramones was on. And, oh, dude, dude, that, that was a punk. Like, if y'all, if y'all never been, like, to a punk rock show, it's, like, I mean, I don't know how it is nowadays, but back in the day, they was legit. Like, the Ramones were getting down way. Like, the pit, you know, if you were in the pit, like, everybody's moshing, everybody's, you know, everybody's slamming everything, dude. I ran into my homeboy, Juanillo, from the neighborhood. He's down there, too, with some of his homeboys and stuff like that. And, hey, what's up, wait? What's up? <laughs> so, when you're, when you're in a, so when you're in a mosh pit, it's, it depends. It depends the setting, you know, what, what kind of, you know, where the play, uh, where the show is at because because some places have like a horseshoe, a pit area, other places that are like outdoors, you know, in the fields, you'll get big ass mosh pits and stuff like that, right? But this is a small, smaller venue. If I, it's like an auditorium, let's say like the size of a school, something like that, you know, kind of, you know, decent size, but maybe a little bigger than that. Twice as big, let's say. And uh, the front of the stage is an open space, you know, and that's where everybody's like, moshing and stuff like that right so i see juanillo there and like he's like he's short lightweight you know maybe about a buck 30 you know buck 20 and uh he's there's this big ass dude this big ass white boy nigga big ass muscles and he's and he, he <laughs> so we're jamming dude i'm right there like next to him and he tells that white dude say homeboy he, he he cupped his hands and he like he gave him like the sign like chunk me over your head like that he said chunk me chunk me homeboy was like come on and then we Get back, get back. We made a little aisle, We, you know, with your hands. You tell people, hey, get back. Like, so we made a little aisle, like a running, you know, so you can have a little a little ramp, not ramp, but, you know, a little running space, 10 feet or something. So people were down. People were down back in the day in the in them pits and stuff. Like, people are down. Right? Boom. Everybody get back, get back. Sure enough, that nigga goes first. He starts running. <laughs> and then that dude just kind of like, he, so he steps on, he, homeboy has his hands cupped. And Juanillo steps on his hand and homeboy just flips him over the, his head. Man, Juanillo went flying over the crowd. I mean, I don't want to say. I mean, so let's say the average people there are, you know, five, six feet tall, right? So the average six feet tall. He flew at least up into the seven, seven and a half footer area. <laughs> and wow, landed on tire because people catch you, eh? People catch you. Wham, and then you're lightweight, you're good. Because there's 20, pe you land on top of 20 people, you weigh 100 pounds, everybody's carrying, you know, whatever, 5 pounds each, whatever, it's nothing. You know, and if you're a big person, like, oh, hold on, up, baby. If you're a big, <laughs> look, it's fun, but seriously, seriously, if you're like 160, 170, 180, uh, hey, man, don't be, don't be, don't be trying to crowd surf, like, up there, don't be trying to crowd surf, because people are going to let you fall away, like, you might get up, a few of my people might, your homeboys, hey, yeah, let's get you up there. You might get up there, pero, bro, once you start moving around and, and crawling, dude, people are going to be like, wow, this heavy ass nigga, and then just let you fall. Wow, nigga, you're going to hit the deck, nigga. That's happened a few times, way, but if you light and you small, you could crawl up there, nigga. You could pretty much walk, nigga, stand like walk on your knees, depending on how dense the crowds are and what kind of show you're dealing with. So Juanillo's flying around, boom. I did it once, but I didn't get that high because I, I, I wasn't too. You know, nimble <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, man. So that was a uh, uh, and um. So the Ramones played, and then Soundgarden came. Chris Cornell, man, they were getting down way. So, uh, I I got in. I went into the crowd like at halfway through the Ramones set, and then I stayed in there halfway through the Soundgarden set, and then I came back out and put my shirt on. And even I remember my supervisor, whoever was in charge, of, like, man, where you been at? Where you been? At? Oh man, I was uh, over there walking around. <coughs> I was walking around. I was uh, walking around. It's the, uh, but you know they know what time it is, cause you know it's the, cause, cause hey, where were you? They probably saw me in the crowd and shit. You know what I'm saying? Soundgarden, man, damn, bro, Chris Cornell. This is thesis.